back to football spy. Now, lots of you asking if Liverpool are about to sign the Atletico Madrid star Maxi Rodriguez. I told a few of you on YouTube yesterday that Spurs are willing to fight Liverpool for him and that battle is now beginning to unfold. Here's a son. They say that Liverpool boss Rafa Benitez is close to tying up a loan deal with a view to signing him if he's a success. He's a good player, but he's 29 years old and he's out of contract at the end of the season. Atletico would rather get money for him, so they're willing to listen to offers until the very last minute, which is why Spurs have moved in for him now. They're willing to match his 85 grand a week wages and have thrown in David Bentley as part of the package. Rodriguez himself, he's got several other offers, so we'll keep you in touch with how that goes. Elsewhere, Patrick Vieira is about to become the first signing of the Roberto Mancini era at Manchester City. The former Arsenal captain, 33, can't get into the Inter Milan side, but he's lifted three Italian titles at Inter under Mancini, so they know each other well. The word is that it would be a six-month loan deal, uh, but as time, in that time, Vieira will be able to give City some of his leadership as they fight to get into the top four or maybe do even better. The tack on YouTube's asked if across Manchester United are interested in Porto striker Hulk. Well, the papers today quote his agent Teodoro Fonseca saying that the player would rather move after the World Cup. Uh, I've seen him in action a few times in the Champions League. I have to say, it doesn't impress me. If he's worth £20 million, well, then I've got no idea how much Fernando Torres is worth. Now, we told you last week that the Liverpool winger, Ryan Babel, is one of the players that we expect to move this January. Rafa Benitez has said that won't happen, but we can tell you that the new Birmingham owner, Carson Young, wants to make a marquee signing this month, and that, that looks like being Babel. Back page of The Independent got all the details of that. We'll keep you posted on that as well. We're also hearing today that the Arsenal winger, Fran Morita, who wasn't that good in the FA Cup against West Ham on Sunday. He's turned down a new deal at the Emirates. He's on his way to Atletico Madrid. We'll give you more details on that when we get it. Now, we keep telling you in our trailers for Spy this January that uh, the big names are ready for action. Well, you can't get much bigger name than Jan Venegor of Hesselink. Uh, I know that gag's been done before, but our own Daily Mirror report that he's on his way from Hull to Middlesbrough. Uh, now, defender time. When the Times say that Real Madrid want to take advantage of a contract dispute between the Manja Vinic and Manchester United. Barcelona like him very much too. And he raised a few eyebrows when he pulled out injured after the warm-up ahead of uh, United's FA Cup defeat to Leeds at the weekend. If he goes, I wonder how much he would go for, especially if we use Ryan Shawcross at Stoke as a yardstick. The Express say Stoke value their highly rated defender, who Man United sold a few years ago for just a, a million pounds, uh, at 20 million pounds. That would make Vidic surely worth around about 100 million pounds. Uh, just kidding, obviously, but I'm sure any clubs interested will simply tell Stoke not to be silly and bid what he's worth, which is around about eight or nine million pounds. Now, one other quick one. Portsmouth hoping to sign the Zimbabwe international left-back Onisimo Becerra. He's been training with the club for the last six months. Got no idea how they're going to do that as they're operating under a transfer embargo. Now, we didn't manage to give away the Frank Ribery boots uh, last summer uh, by the time we reached the transfer deadline, but we're going to have another go at doing it this time round. To win them, we need a strap line for the show. Last summer, the winner was Nathan Hamlin in Australia, who described Football Spy as the internet's premier transfer talk show. We want to know if you can do better. Uh, post your suggestions onto YouTube or email them to spy at mirror.co.uk. And please, obviously, remember to include your boot size. <laughs> Time for your messages, though. Daily Mirror channel, uh, Sara Suda Katana wants to know if the Valencia striker David Villa is on his way to Barcelona. They've already got Ibrahimovic. Well, I'd say he's not going for precisely that reason. Staying with the Daily Mirror channel, and Dan CFC wants to know Harry Redknapp at Spurs is buying anyone this month. Well, I was at the Spurs press conference last Thursday where Redknapp insisted there was no chance of him buying anyone. But we know he likes Van Nistelrooy. We also know that he's still interested in Vieira and Inter Milan. Uh, Golden Siberian wants news on uh, Arsenal transfer targets. Well, Arsene Wenger's only looking to strengthen in one area, and that's up front. They're helped, though, by the return to full training of Nicholas Bentner. He's expected back 
this week. Uh, Arsenal still in the hunt though for the Bordeaux striker Marouane Schemack and they also like the Inter Milan striker Mario Balotelli. So I'll give you a bit more details about that as and when it happens. Now Paul Murphy is a Liverpool fan. He says here, even though it would be the final nail in our coffin, we could get good money for Torres and Gerrard. Any chance of them leaving now or in the summer? Now I'd say no, but in the summer I'd say every chance unless Liverpool finish in the top four. Just to say, Paul Murphy, well done for handling that private message situation from the Arsenal fans so well. More messages and Surge TV is asking me lots of questions. Most notably, whether there's any truth to the Heskey to Chelsea rumour. Well, I've got to tell you, yes, there is. In fact, if you look on the Mirror Football website, you'll see a story by our Liverpool correspondent, David Maddock, saying that Heskey is probably more likely uh, to go to Chelsea than Liverpool, who are interested as well, because Martin O'Neill still has got that bad blood with Benitez over the Gareth Barry thing two years ago. So, yes, Heskey could well be on his way to Chelsea. Now, we've got time to answer just a couple more of your messages on our email. I'm going to just go to them now. Roy the Manes Tiger prefers uh, us in here to out there in the spy office. So just for you, here we are. In fact, do you agree with Roy? Do you prefer us in here or out there? Also, our hull in for Freddie Adu, he says. And can we trade, listen to this, Phil Brown to Bolton for two cases of steak pies and fish and chips twice. Uh, the pies at the KC Stadium are terrible. Well, I don't know if I could sort that one out, but I can tell you that Hull are indeed in for Freddie Adu. Two goals in ten games for his country. Wants to get to the World Cup with America, so wants to move to the Premier League to see if he can sort that out. Uh, to Ryan Summerfield, I'll answer your questions on Stoke tomorrow. But just to say yes, Van Nistelrooy and Scott Parker are two rather ambitious targets for Tony Pulis. And Natsall's got a tip for us. He says that the Roma keeper, Doni, is headed to Old Trafford. We'll have to check that one out for you. There is more spy for you tomorrow. I'll see you there.